Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Janelle. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. So today we're going to be talking about the truth about being a young mom or just really the reality behind it. I'm going to get into my experiences and you know, um, just how, just kind of like what they don't tell you about being a mom. Um, yes, I am a young mom. I wasn't a teen mom, but I, I'm a young mom. I had, I got pregnant when I was 21 and I had my baby when I was 22. I am now 23. Um, I'm in the car recording because um, my baby fell asleep in the car. So I'm like, listen, I just need to record now. So here he is in the back. That's my little baby Phoenix. He's about to be one and a half this month. Um, time flew. But let's just get right into this video and I'm gonna basically explain like some of the things that you know you might not know about what it really is to be a young mom. <laughs> so the first thing i want to talk about is definitely like you know you're gonna miss out on things i feel like that's one of the most obvious things like being a young mom you're gonna miss out on a lot of different things people who are your age or around your age um are not really gonna understand <laughs> you know like what you're going through or like what your expectations are or what your responsibilities are as a mom because obviously most people your age really aren't moms i had my baby fresh out of college i actually graduated when he was a newborn so i've never really you know got to experience really like being a young adult without school or being like an independent young adult without being a mom so i'll get into that but right now basically the first point is you know sorry guys i'm sniffling i have allergies but my first point is like you're gonna miss out on things there's gonna be events that you can go to there's gonna be things that you can do if you're breastfeeding like i am i've been breastfeeding for the past year and a half and i'm still gonna be breastfeeding probably until he's well into his twos the way that it's looking but um if you guys want more videos about breastfeeding you could comment down below but yeah so i can't drink because of the breastfeeding i know that there are some ways that you can drink but i'd rather just not even like deal with that especially because he's doesn't even drink from a bottle my baby he literally exclusively breast breastfeeds so i couldn't like substitute a drink with a bottle so yeah anyways you know you can't drink you can't go out certain times um i know a lot of people are like oh just leave your baby with your mom or leave him with his grandparents you know your step -parent, your um parents in law whatever and you know personally like i don't like to do that i feel like you know i brought this baby into the world he's my baby um so it's my responsibility to take care of him. I don't like to really leave him with anybody unless I absolutely need to. Or if, you know, maybe like once in a blue type of thing. But I'm not going to be going out every single weekend and leaving him with, you know, his grandparents. Because I just feel like that's not... I know that they would love to, but I just feel like that's not their responsibility. And also, like, with the breastfeeding, I can't even really leave him for extended, extended periods of time. Now that he's getting a little bit older, it's a little bit easier for me to leave him because he is eating solid foods. But once it comes to, like, he needs to go to sleep, it's hard to go to sleep without hoops. <laughs> so, I like to refrain from that. And I want to mostly, you know, like, be with my son. So, that would be the first point. You can't um, really leave, you know, your baby to go do things you're going to miss out. Um, and then, hand in hand with that, just so you know it's not only, like, cons. That's actually kind of a pro, too, because if you're like me, I'm really an introvert, and I don't really have many friends anyway, so most likely, if someone's inviting me somewhere, I really don't want to go there anyway, so, like, you can use baby as an excuse. <laughs> don't tell anybody that I said that, but, yeah, like, you didn't hear it here, but, yeah, definitely having a kid is, you can use it as an excuse to get out of things, like, oh, I can't come because I have a baby, so, which is true. I don't always use that, you know, I, I don't really... I'm, I'm pretty truthful so i'm not gonna really you know use that as an excuse like for no reason but if i really don't want to go if i just like don't like you then i'll probably say that like to not hurt your feelings <laughs> so yeah um number two my next point you know like i honestly don't even really want to do numbers i think i'm just gonna like chat about being a young mom instead because i left my notes i actually took notes but i left them at home because I was expecting to record at home. Um, so, yeah, let's just keep talk chatting. Also, if I have any young moms here, please comment. Um, I really want to, like, create a 
space like where we can have like open conversations i really want to like attract moms to my channel and any moms of any age I don't, it doesn't matter because we're all moms we're all going through similar experiences we're all taking care of humans but i would really like to create a community here um you know where we get to share about our experience because it's not easy and when you don't have a lot of people like when you're younger and you don't have a lot of people that are going through something similar to you it's you feel really alone and that's gonna be my next point that i'm gonna kind of go into like feeling very alone and feeling very misunderstood is something that i've definitely been going through you know this past year and a half like um obviously my man baby daddy my husband he's a guy he's a man at the end of the day he's been as helpful as he could be he's a great dad but you know i'm the one who really my body is going through things and i'm gonna carry the baby i'm always breastfeeding you know right now the load is really on me um so you know a lot of the time and i don't really have a lot of friends like i said earlier so i really you know I go through feeling misunderstood or like feeling alone so that's definitely something you can go through um i also think that having a baby really shows you like who's really there for you and honestly you're gonna lose a lot of friends not because they don't care about you or they don't want to be your friend but maybe they don't feel like they don't relate to you anymore or you're just too busy with the baby or like you always have to bring the baby around it's that you know some people don't really want to be around that unfortunately i feel like if they are really 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 your real friends though um you know like they're gonna be there for you anyways but that's a different conversation um yeah i just a lot of people that i thought like were really close to me or like were really gonna be there for you for me um they you know they're kind of not not that they don't talk to me or like we're on bad terms but our relationship is just and the dynamic our relationship just changed and i didn't really think that would happen when i had a baby i kind of thought that it would be different thought the relationships would be sorry i'm getting text messages um i thought the relationship would be you know closer so that's something that's definitely you know something that happens with motherhood at least in my experience like i said when i got out of college that's really when i like have been a mom so i feel like i've never really the next point would be like having a baby definitely like stops your career in a way or like like limits you what you can do i don't want to say you can't do things because everybody because that, that's not the energy that i want to put out and i do want us to be strong mothers and i want us to know that we can do whatever we set our minds to but you know it definitely is hard to like find yourself when you're trying to find yourself in being a mom um and i don't know yet if those are two separate things or if being a mom is what's going to help me find myself i don't know i'm not there yet if i'm being honest right now in my life i feel like i'm going through a period of like wow this was the time that i was supposed to be growing into who i am and my main priority is growing into the mom that i want to be instead of which i mean i guess across the board like the woman that i want to be as a mom is the like the traits that i would want to be as a woman anyway but you know it's not about me necessarily it's everything is about baby first basically i know i, I hope i'm making sense i'm just talking as i go and thinking as i speaking as i think so you know like yeah being a mom you're thinking about baby so when you're thinking about baby that's your main priority so you kind of lose yourself in that and then when you're in a stage in your life like young adulthood straight out of college you're supposed to be putting into your career putting into what you want to do putting into you know your real adult individual life like being independent all those things like i kind of skipped all that i kind of went from straight from being in my parents house being in college straight into going married baby my own apartment my own situation trying to figure out my own life so it's like all those things mixed up really kind of makes it hard to differentiate who i am as my own individual person versus who i am as a mom i hope that you guys can relate to that um or i hope you guys at least understand it if you're not going through that that's great i would really i just wish that i was more of a whole person or like i knew who i was and what i wanted before i had a baby because i feel myself struggling with that a lot when it comes to career when it comes to my own spirituality when it comes to who i want to be as a person what i see myself what i envision you know it's really about what's the best for my baby what's the what what can i do to be the best for him it's not really about me or like really it's not 
a soul decision or a soul journey anymore. It's really me trying to do what I have to do for my family, if that makes sense. On the other side of that, though, having a baby definitely does give you a motivation because it's a love that you have never experienced before, I promise. You know, I've always heard mom say, you know, like, I help my baby. And it's just a love that I never, you know, could imagine. I've never loved anyone like this. And it's so true. Like, that is, like, what makes all of this so worth it is, like, your baby, the way that you feel when you have that baby, you just have this little life and this person, like, just looking towards you for, like, everything that they need. It's scary, but it's also so rewarding. And it makes you want to be better. It makes you want to be something in this world for them it makes you want to be a person that they look up to and that they're proud of so definitely that's a, definitely a pro has definitely like so rewarding and so like it's just so amazing like the feeling that you you want to do well because you want to do well for them and it motivates you to get there faster it motivates you to want to be that person for them it motivates you to want to do that work so you know for me i've been going through like i said i've been going through this journey of like not knowing who i am and i was going through that before i was pregnant and i was way worse like i was definitely depressed um i was really overweight um i was just not in a good place in my life and definitely my baby i f say that my baby saved me like i don't know what would have happened to me if i didn't have him you know to kind of steer me into like hope and like steer me into wanting more you know i still don't know exactly what i want which is just what i'm trying to figure out um but i know that i want good and i know that i want happiness and i know that i want success for myself and for my family and whatever shape that comes in and whatever i find that i love and i hope that that could bring into it but yeah definitely motivation having a baby brings motivation as a young mom it makes you want to get things done also like i was just saying about the love that you feel for your baby like and how amazing it is you also get a new best friend like with all the friends you may lose or all the friends all the relationships that you know are watered down or are just not the same like you gain a new best friend for life like obviously you're their parent there just has to be some type of a boundary there depending on your parenting style but um you know like i have my best friend like I don't even care about any other relationships other than, you know, my family. But I don't care about any of that because I have my new best friend. And he's just so, like, the guy's looking at me like, who am I talking to? Oh, it's a lady. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, having your baby, as, it's just like, oh, my gosh, you're my little bestie. Like, you just make me so happy and I just love you. Like, look at him, first of all. Like, he's just so cute and sleepy like how could you not want to do everything for like this like you just want to be the best that you could possibly be um like i said sorry i have allergies but um yeah like it's just really like a eye-opening and awakening experience having a baby and the love that it brings you just have a best friend but yeah, I mean, I just think that this is an important conversation to start having. And I think this is, I want to use this platform for that. I also want to talk about other motherhood, you know, things. And definitely my breastfeeding and beauty and hair and makeup and chit chats and all those things I want to do on this channel. So I really hope that you guys subscribe to if you like this video. And I hope you guys comment your experience. And, you know, if you guys have anything else to say or anything else to, you know, chime in with i definitely want to read those comments and i definitely want to start these conversations <laughs> if i could think about anything else when i'm reading the comments i'll definitely make another video about this because like i said i was kind of all over the place and it was not organized because i left my notes at home but you know that's just basically what's on my heart and on my mind being a mom is the most amazing thing that i've ever done in my life but it's hard and i just want to be real about that and i just want to you know i want to have some like i said i want to have a community where we could talk about these things and we don't feel alone because you know you can feel really misunderstood and alone so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you did please like comment and subscribe i would really really appreciate it and i want to start this conversation with you guys so thank you for watching let's say bye to my baby <laughs> bye